Hey guys, it's been a while and as you can tell I dyed my hair purple. I was getting kind of bored with the blonde and I wanted some of that mermaid hair that everybody is doing. Um, I did this myself actually. I went to Sally's and I think I got three semi-permanent colors for $11. They were having a buy two get one free sale so I just put this in and I used a brush and I brushed it through. It looks like the purple kind of clung to my blonde highlights and so when I brushed it through I still have my low lights in as well which was kind of cool since I did it myself. Um, I'm kind of liking how it looks. I'll probably keep it for a little bit longer and then go back to my natural blonde color. But for today I'm going to be doing my end of the summer look so if you would like to know how I achieve this look please keep watching. Okay, I went ahead and put my hair back. I'm going to start by priming my face with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi along with the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I'll do about one squirt of each. I just recently started using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and I actually really like it. It's not your typical white primer. It has a yellow pink tint to it. And then I'm going to start by pressing into my face. Using the Magic Lumi by L'Oreal is going to help give my face a nice glow effect to it, which is what we're going for for my end of the summer look. And you can kind of already see how much it's already working. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. And if you couldn't tell, I'm breaking out really bad right now. I have no idea what's going on. I think it's because I changed hair products. And when I wear my bangs down, my forehead can't handle it. So I apologize for that. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using NARS. This is the Sheer Glow. I do also have the matte, but I have not tried that one yet. I'm just going to start by putting dots along my face. And then I'm going to blend with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm just going to be working the beauty blender around my face until I feel like it's all blended. Using a beauty blender versus a brush is just going to help you get that more of an airbrushed look too as well. Okay, and you definitely want to make sure you get your neck as well. To me, it does not look like it is complete full coverage, so I'm just going to go back over my troubled areas, which would be around here. On to concealer, I'm going to be using this Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. It's in the shade Light 16. This is the second time I've used this product. The first time I used it, I noticed when I tried to squeeze it out, it was a lot of clear liquid. I'm assuming because it's in a tube. But I did try it a few days ago, and it stayed all day. I really liked it. It didn't crease any of that. I'm going to be applying the concealer with my ring finger. And I'm just going to dot it where I want it. Now I always put concealer on my eyelids to help um, prime for eyeshadow, also to hide the veins. Another thing about this concealer, it, it is kind of watery. It's not as thick as the MAC Pro Longwear that I usually use. So I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender and I'm going to dabble this in. I'm going to go back in and apply just a little bit more. Now 
Next, I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead right here, on my nose and my chin. Next, I'm going to be setting my concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte in the color Transparent. This is one of my new faves now for my setting powders, and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Setting Brush. Now, I know we're doing like a dewy, glowy look for my end of the summer look, but again, like I said, I really like this matte finishing powder. But you can use what you please. I'm just gonna set the areas that I tend to crease to. Okay, now that we're done setting our concealer, I'm gonna be going in with this new Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sunlight. I just I just picked this up yesterday, so this will be my first time trying it. it has a little sun on it. And I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals brush. This is a fan brush. It came with my first resort package. I'm gonna lightly dust the bronzer onto the brush and I'm gonna place it on my cheekbone. And I am gonna go a little bit darker than I typically would just because it is summer and I want that nice bronzy look. Okay, now that we have done our cheeks, I'm gonna go in with this random brush I found at Walmart. I've had it for a few years and it still works great. I wish I could tell you guys what it was, but I have no idea. So now I'm gonna dust this brush into the bronzer and I'm going to be doing underneath my chin and my throat. Next, I'm going to be moving on to my forehead. I'm going to start here and move to my temples. So far, I really like the color of this bronzer, so I'm glad that I decided to get it yesterday. And I'm going to bring this down to connect with the top part of my cheek. And then I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend this out. Next I'm going to be contouring my nose. I'm going to be using the same bronzer along with my Bare Minerals concealer brush. You can see I just did two lines on the side. Now I'm going to go back in with the concealer just a tiny bit. I'm going to be using this flat eyeliner brush. I use it to contour my nose and I'm going to go in in the sides. Just so I can have more of a defined look to my nose which I'm sorry, I should have done this before I set the concealer. So FYI, before you set the concealer, make sure you do your nose first. Now I'm gonna go back over it with the Beauty Blender so I can blend the lines out. Now that we're done with our contouring and highlighting, I'm going to move on to blush. And I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush in the color Coralina. 
looks like this. And I'm gonna be using this new Makeup Geek blush brush. I haven't used it yet, it's still in the package. Looks like this. It's actually a face buffer brush, but I'm gonna use it for a blush brush. Okay, I'm gonna start by the apples on my cheeks and move on back. This might be my new favorite brush. I'm just gonna wipe this brush up real quick. And I'm gonna go back in and buff it out a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna move on to my highlight, which I'm gonna be using two of them. I'm gonna be using the Sephora brand Baked Illuminizer in the color Stardust. So I'm gonna be using my tapered highlighting brush from Sigma be placing this on my upper cheekbone. Then I'm going to be using from my Too Faced the Bronzed and the Beautiful palette. I'm going to be taking the gold color called Powdered Sun and I'm going to go over the top of that. It's because I want that nice bronze gold look. I'm also going to hit the top of my nose lightly and my lip. And now I'm going to go back in with just this big fluffy brush and I'm going to move every smooth everything out. You can see it looks really nice. Probably go back in with my brush I use for my bronzer. I'm going to blend that in a little more. Okay, and then I'm going to be using the Milani Fantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Fantastic in Gold. Looks like this. I'm going to lightly put this right here underneath my chin and my neck, not on my forehead because this stuff is too sparkly for me to put on my forehead. I'm just going to go there and brush that on where I did my contour. just to get that extra shine. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera so that way um, I can film this video a little faster. I will be right back. If you're wondering what I use for my brows, I use the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you would like to say it, um, dip brow pomade in the color blonde. Then I also use Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color taupe. And then I use her clear brow gel. And her brow pencil. That has the angled brush on the other side and a spoolie on the other. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with Eye Bright by Benefit. And I'm going to be placing this underneath my brow for my highlight. You just need a little bit of this stuff. You can see it gives you a nice little pop-up highlight. I really like this stuff and I've used it mm, a lot and I haven't even had to sharpen it yet. So it's definitely worth the money. And I'm going to be using the flat um, eyeliner brush too from e.l.f. And I'm just going to kind of blend this in. I'm going to be blending it more so in the middle and not so much on the outer side. Okay, next I'm going to be using... Where is it? Um, the Lavish Palette by Anastasia. Anastasia. Oh my gosh. I haven't used this palette yet, but I figured it would work really good with my end of the summer look. So I'm going to start by using my tapered blending brush. This is the E40 from Sigma. And I think I'm going to be using the orange soda first, which is this color here. I'm just going to dust this lightly onto the brush and I'm going to put it all over my lid. Okay, 
if you don't own this, you can also find another type of light orange color. There's another one by Makeup Geek and it's called Peach Smoothie. A lot of people like to use that too. Okay, now that I have that, you can see it a little bit. I think I'm going to go in with, let's do a little bit of sienna and rum cake. And I'm going to be using, what is this, the Sigma E55 eye shading brush. So I'm going to start at the outer corner and work my way. Kind of creating a V shape. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the tapered blending brush. I'm going to blend that in. Taking a little bit more of Sienna on the tapered blending, I'm going to go back in and work that into the outer corner. Okay, next I'm going to be using the rum cake and I'm going to be putting that on top of that. Again, just putting it in the outer corner and slowly bringing it over to the inner. Next, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the cream and I'm going to be putting it on my lid. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the taper blending and I'm going to blend that in. Okay, and I'm also going to be putting this color, Ballet, on my brow highlight, and I'm going to be using this smudge brush, the E21. I'm just going to lightly dab that on there. I'm going to be going in with this gold liquid eyeliner from Sephora, and I'm going to be putting it on my inner tear duct. I'm also going to be dragging it up to about the start of my eyelashes. Okay, and I'm going to put it on the bottom as well. Okay, and I'm going to take the exact same smudge brush I just used and I'm going to place a little bit of the ballet on it and I'm just going to mix those two together. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking the same smudge brush again and I'm going to be using the sienna and the rum cake on my outer corner on the bottom lash line. Now we're done with the lavish palette. Put that back real quick. And I'm going to get back into my Too Faced the Bronze and the Beautiful palette. And I'm going to take that gold color again. I guess I didn't bring my brush down here, so I'm just going to use this Eco Tools Concealer Airbrush. I'm going to dip that in there. And I'm going to put it in my inner tear duct.
and a little bit on the lid. All right, I'm not gonna use false lashes because personally during the summer, I don't like wearing them because I just get too hot and then they start to come off on my eyes. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes with a few coats of mascara. If you want to use um, false lashes, go ahead. That's just not what I'm gonna do for this look today. For my lashes, I'm gonna be using the Telescopic in Carbon Black by L'Oreal. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using the Great Lash by Maybelline. These are definitely two of my favorite drugstore mascaras. As you can tell, that's just one coat. This mascara is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna give this a second to dry and then I'm gonna apply the Maybelline on top of that and I'm gonna do my bottom lashes as well. I'm gonna do that off camera just so things can go faster. All right, while I let this mascara dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and then I'm gonna curl my lashes and maybe apply another coat of mascara. So I decided to do an orange coral look. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Melted and Melted Coral and I'm gonna be using the Strip Down Liner with it by MAC. After I have that done, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to contour underneath my lip to make my lips appear larger. So I'm going back in with the Rimmel Matte Bronzer and the Bare Minerals Contour, or I'm sorry, the, the, the Bare Minerals Concealer Brush. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Melted by Too Faced. I'm going to go back in with Strip Down. Alright, now I'm going to go in with NYX Dewy Finish. Again, this will help hold your makeup all day and it'll make your face look nice and dewy. All right, now that your look is complete, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'm gonna be filming a couple more this weekend. Have a great weekend, bye.